All right, folks, part three of income elasticity. So again, we're looking at the response by consumers when there is a change in income. Uh, we first looked at the first equation where we have a percent change in income and quantity. And we looked at what happens if we don't have numbers in percent format. We then can use that change in quantity over the change in income. Now, the third equation I'm going to show you is something called the midpoint equation, also known as the arc elasticity. It kind of allows us to use an average of the quantity and of the income, which kind of gives us a better accuracy with the numbers we get. And this is very useful when we start off with zero for either quantity or for income. So for example, here we have, once again, our income equation, our income elasticity equation as E sub I. We also know that this becomes the change in quantity over the change in income. But using the midpoint equation, we can now further expand change of Q into the following. Q2 minus Q1, which we saw, but now we are going to use the midpoint, which would be the average of both quantities over 2. So notice that now we have the change in quantity, new minus old. But we're now looking at the midpoint, the average of both quantities, as our denominator. If this is true for the change in Q, it must be true for the change in I. Again, we have the change I2 minus I1. But instead of having I1, now we're going to use the average of both incomes. And this is what we call the midpoint equation. And the reason why it's useful is because when we have numbers that begin with zero, there's a way to still calculate the income elasticity. So for example, here we can put income increases from zero dollars per week to three hundred dollars per week. Thus, decrease consumption from ten goods to one good. What is the income elasticity? So notice now that we have zero dollars and now we are earning money to 300 per week. And this is going to happen. Uh, you yourself can start off with no money and now perhaps you have a gig mowing lawns, for example, and now you're earning money. So you are starting from zero to now $300 per week. If we were to use the old equation of Q2 minus Q1 over Q1, what's going to happen? We're going to have $300 as Q2 minus $0 Q1 over zero for Q1. And we know that in math, whenever we have zero in the denominator, it is undefined. So we can't solve further. That's why this midpoint equation is really, really useful when we have zero as the starting point in either quantity or in income. And now we can go ahead and solve this uh, problem using this equation. Again, we can see two sets of numbers, income, quantity. Let's find the new quantity, which would be 1q2 and 10q1. Take the average of both quantities to get the following. So now we have q2 1 minus q1 10 over q1 plus q2 over 2 which represents our equation called the midpoint equation. For income, we can see that $300 is the new income, 300, 
minus zero over the average of both incomes over two. So now we don't run into the issue of not being able to solve the problem because now we have the average of both incomes. Let's go ahead and solve for this one and see what we get. So we have negative nine over 5.5. And this is all over 300 over 150. When we further divide negative 9 over 5.5, we get negative 1.64, rounding off to the nearest hundredths, over 2. And now we can get the final answer. And what we get is negative 0.82 as our final answer. Now, because this is income elasticity, we know that we have a two-part answer where we can see that the negative sign represents the type of good we are working with. With respect to your income, it is an inferior good. And the number that we get is 0.82. It's less than 1. Hence, it is inelastic. So again, like the previous example, when you see a $300 increase in your income, your response to no longer consume this good is inelastic. It's slow. So again, this good holds a true value to your heart, which is why you will continue to consume the good no matter how much more money, more income you are uh, receiving.